welcome everybody to the MCG today, uh, the home of the Melbourne Stars, and uh, this is the uh, first step forward to what's going to be a fantastic summer of cricket here. Last year's T20 competition was absolutely a roaring success, massive ratings, massive crowds, and uh, what we're delighted about at the Melbourne Stars is that uh, in just about every key performance indicator, Melbourne Stars was number one. The area that we're most uh, concerned to get to number one, though, is actually winning the Premiership. And uh, I've been uh, delighted to announce that Ian Chappell has come on to be our Chairman of Selectors and a board member. And there's no doubt that uh, there is no person in the world who's got the cricketing now of Ian Chappell. So we're absolutely delighted to have uh, Ian with us as part of our team going forward. But today's announcements, I think, are significant in that it proves that this is a club, not a franchise. This is a cricket club and there is a bit of loyalty amongst the place even at this very early stage of the life of the Melbourne Stars. It's fantastic that uh, Cameron White has signed a three-year contract with the Melbourne Stars, that David Hussey has signed a three-year contract, Rob Quiney a three-year contract, Luke Wright who took the uh, competition by storm, our international player last year from England has signed a three-year contract, Matthew Wade a one-year contract and uh, the one year there obviously because he's doing so well with the international side, the Australian team, and Peter Hanscom signing a one-year contract. So some of the biggest names in cricket who have made their name in T20 with the Melbourne Stars, who have put this club on the map, have signed themselves to be here for a significant amount of time. I'd like to make the announcement also today that Cameron has uh, stood down as captain of the Melbourne Stars, and uh, it was Cameron's decision to do so, to concentrate on playing, to concentrate on getting back into that Australian side where he absolutely should be and his announcement that he's been picked during the week it justifies not only the decision to clear the decks and make sure that he's right and uh, contributing to the Melbourne Stars but also to Australian cricket and international cricket. So Ken we really appreciate you, you doing that, taking that step. No there's uh, no decision yet because we're still uh, going through uh, our signings. Uh, there's obviously uh, a, a number of players, uh, Shane Warne's name uh, comes up, uh, Warney hasn't been uh, contracted yet uh, and we'll just wait and see till we get our final list. But that decision, Ian will be uh, making those decisions and putting it to the board as the chairman of selectors, and uh, we'll do that in due course. But uh, really at the moment, with the 14-man uh, deadline coming up, we just want to make sure that we've got the, uh, the basis of a fantastic team to go out and win the premiership. Uh, last year, obviously, there was a lot of other things involved in the, the uh, KFC Big Bash, getting the, the whole competition going filling the MCG, doing all these great things, and now we're actually evolving into a real competitive sporting organisation, and that's why having somebody of Ian's capabilities to uh, you know, really pull together a team that can win this competition is now such an important factor for us. I'm very confident we'll have a good side, and a good all-round side, plus uh, the, the thing that you need is a bit of flexibility. Um, so I'm pretty happy on all counts, really, but... Um, you know, I think you, you build a good cricket team very quickly around an attack. So you need a good attack, and I think you'll find that we'll have a very good attack. You know, I probably enjoyed my, my time in the IPL and, and over in England just playing, and I guess that was probably the um, determining factor. And, you know, maybe just it might be a good thing to just come out, enjoy playing here at the MCG with the Stars and without the extra, you know, add-on and the, and the pressures of um, captaincy. So... It's something I look forward to doing. I think, this, as um, Ian pointed out, the side's coming and the squad's coming together uh, really well. So, um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to playing and, um, you know, and, and hopefully that helps me get back, um, you know, into the Australian teams um, um, where I think I, I belong. I did. I made one slight adjustment, if you... Excuse me for the cricket people that um, you don't really know, but it's, I used to waggle my bat round um, in, in, my, uh, in my stance. Now I'm just holding it dead still. That was it. There you go, that's the technical adjustment I made. Um, and it was, I guess part of that was going to the IPL and, and experiencing something different. Darren Lehman I went there and worked with and he made that a, a, a very you know, um, small remark about and, and comment about my backlift um, and he thought that was affecting a part of my game and as you do, listen to a great pl um, player and, and coach like that and it made a lot of sense to me at, the, at that time and I, ch I changed it and, it and it was one of the, those things that just worked for me. So. Seems very simple and quite stupid probably as well, but um, seems to be working at the moment. Um, very happy to be signing here and uh, it's a, it, it is the biggest club in Australia, so uh, for me playing at the MCG and spending a bit more time at home, uh, yeah, it's a big bonus. No temptation to the renegades today? Uh, a little temptation, yeah. Um, 
but I actually owe a lot to Melbourne Stars. Um, playing last year at the MCG, sort of, uh, and, and doing okay, uh, sort of got me back in the Australian setup. So I'm a uh, bit of a loyal person and uh, want to stay here at the MCG for as long as I possibly can. Um, yeah, I'd like to win the thing. Um, I won uh, what, three or four with uh, Victoria at the, at the same time. So uh, I'd, our whole goal, I know Ian says to qualify for the finals, but uh, my goal every time you play cricket is to win, win the competition. And uh, that's no different for the Melbourne Stars, uh, whether it's playing for the Bush Rangers. But uh, Melbourne Stars next year, we have to make the final and, uh, and win the whole thing. I'm sick of losing. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, I think the Vicks uh, or the Bush Rangers play a particular brand of cricket and we play a very confident brand of cricket and if all the boys stick together like, like we have done and show a bit of loyalty and play with your mates, uh, I think we're going to go a long way in this tournament. And uh, I, I, I truly believe we'll be the front runners and teams will be out to beat us and, uh, and we need to uh, counteract that and, and win the whole thing.